Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your end of December 2018 reading. Um, I just want to say before we start that um, sometimes I get really caught up in my channeling and I don't hear things that are going around me. So if there is any noise, I do apologize for that. Um, everything is quiet in my house, so there shouldn't be a problem with that. Uh, and, um, it's Christmas, so it's that busy time of the year. Um, I'm going to say a quick intent into my cards, and then we'll get going with your reading. I am going to do um, uh, the energies coming into the 17th, energies leaving the week at the 17th, the energies coming into the 24th, and the energies leaving us for the new year, or the energies that are going to be there when we go into the new year. And with my tarot daily, daily new eat, I can never pronounce that right, um, it is the tarot of the night. Then I'm going to um, clarify them with my steampunk tarot. Love that deck. And then I've got messages and end quotes for you too. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> All right, let's hop right into this. I'm ready. I'm excited. Let's see what's going on with you, Pisces. Guides and spirits, please. Tell me what's going on and what Pisces can expect for the end of December. The most needed messages for Pisces highest good. One more shuffle and I'll cut. All right, let's cut this deck. <laughs> okay, so your underlying energy, um, Pisces, going in the last two weeks of December is the Seven of Wands. You've got power and you feel like you need to stand up for yourself and you need to show people that you do have power. Good for you. Good for you. What is What energies can Pisces expect for the week of the 17th? What energies can Pisces expect for the week of the 17th? Sometimes they take a minute. <laughs> Ooh. What we got here? Ace of Wands. Undertaking something new. New project, new passion. You got a new drive, a new zest for life. You're coming into the week of the 17th with some new energies and some new powers, man. A new ambition towards something. For some of you, it's a new project. For others of you, it's a new drive or a new way you go about taking action on things, okay? Coming out of the week of the 17th, what can Pisces expect for their energy? Coming out of the week of the 17th. Knight of Pentacles. That's good. You know, you're taking, you have a new, a new way about going about things, okay? In the beginning of the week. You have a new I don't know why this isn't coming out right. You have a new passion or a new way about doing things, okay? And then at the end of the week, you're going about it slow. You're going about it slow because you know you're eventually going to get there, all right? Um, maybe you're going about it slow because you're afraid 
of what's to come. Now that could be for some of you and others of you. It could just be, you know, you want to do things the right way. So you don't want to rush them. You really want to think about how you go about putting action behind what you want to get done. Okay. Going into Christmas Eve, the week of Christmas Eve. What can Pisces expect her energy or his energy to be like? Ah, Angel de la Nuit. This <laughs> very rarely comes out in my um, readings. I think it came out for Sagittarius. And I had to look it up because I've used this deck only for like about a month. And she's never showed up in my readings before Sagittarius, so I did have to look it up, but I'm it's fresh in my mind. And I what I see in the card is, and what I'm getting from my guides, is you're coming out of a dark time, okay? You're coming out of a dark time, and you're entering a time of light, okay? So bright things are, are ahead for you on the horizon. Can't really see these cards. I got to... I'm doing everything off my phone and I have it like rigged. I actually have it um, in a like little tripod that's rigged to a vase that's rigged to, you know, I got water in there, um, <laughs> but I have it so that it's rigged and it really can't show you the cards right now. I'm going to be getting a camera pretty soon so you'll be able to see the cards. But um, yeah, so you're going to be coming out of a, a, of a dark time and you're going into a brighter time. So around Christmas Eve, you're feeling more cheerful. You're coming, you've come out of the dark. You know how you want to go about things now. You know how you want to take action. You're doing it slowly, but you're, you're headed toward the light. Okay. What energies can Pisces expect during the new year? Page of Swords. New information. Um, new way of thinking. Could be a younger water sign or younger air sign. Could be a younger air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that comes into your life. Um, spark of a new idea. I have a feeling if this isn't a person, it's the spark of a new idea. Okay. And that might be for some of you. For others of you, that might mean a, um, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, a younger, younger than you, is going to come into your life. Um, and I see lots of positivity around this card. Like, I'm not really getting anything negative. I'm just getting like, hey, I know, I know where it's at. I know what to do. Please come into my light. I can help you. Okay. That's what I'm getting. I don't know why. For some of you, it's please come into my light. I'm here to help you. And then right after, it comes right after the coming out of the darkness card. And this is come into my light. So I feel like somebody, I feel like for some of you, this is a person that can help you. Okay. Um, with this new passion or this new idea that you're headed toward. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, that is exactly what I mean. And then for other people, it could just mean you're coming out of the darkness and you're finally seeing the light. You're finally getting the knowledge that you need, okay? Let's clarify these cards so that we can see what's going on, okay? Give me two for the Ace of Wands for Pisces. Please clarify this Ace of Wands for Pisces on the 17th. Ooh, and two came out. What do we got? Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot. Mmm, this is a good reading for you. You're moving on. You're moving on to better and brighter things. You're taking action and, and, and going forward with what you want to do, okay? You got the Page of Pentacles here. Um, she speaks of resource. Um, she has the resources to move ahead and to get done what she needs to get done, but she's still a little naive in it, or maybe there's just a little bit of a resource or maybe a little less of resources that you need. Um, 
or maybe you don't have as much resources as you need to move forward. Maybe that's what you're scared of. Um, this could also be a person. This could be a person, an earth sign, um, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that is going to help you out with this, that is going to help you move forward, um, that has the resources for this new endeavor you want to go on. That's pretty cool. Let's get some more clarification. Can I get two cards for the Knight of Pentacles? Two cards, please, for the Knight of Pentacles. For Pisces. What her and his or her energy is like. I keep saying her, I don't mean to, but. Oh, we got two. We got taking control of the situation and going for it. Having no doubt and going for it. Just taking a leap of faith. Because we got the fool for taking a leap of faith. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Um, I'm sorry, I probably just gave a really good look or <laughs> disgusting look right there. But um, yeah, this is knowing, just feeling like you should, you should take a leap of faith on this, you know, just like, you know, it's not just all about the leap of faith. It's about, it's about trusting in a different, trusting in somebody other than yourself relinquish and you know what we got the emperor so for some of you this is about relinquishing control relinquishing control to somebody else and doing it willingly for others of you it's about taking control moving forward knowing that what you're doing is for the best so, you know, I like to pull as many stories as I can and connect the dots out of the cards because this is a general reading, so I try to reach as many people possible. So, there are two stories going along here, and this is either you taking control and, and you know, taking, taking um, a leap of faith on yourself and how you can control the situation and move forward, or it's somebody, it's you giving up control to somebody else so that you can move forward. And you do it slow because it's the Knight of Pentacles, so you're going slow with it. Um, this Knight of Pentacles could also be this page. So this could be an earth sign. In the beginning of the week, you know, they come to you and say, hey, I would like to help you with this endeavor that you're going on. And then at the end of the week, they kind of come in slow because they're really thinking it out now. And they present you with a plan. And you're like, that's a very good plan. And you just give control over to them and say, yes, let's do this. Okay. Um, let's move forward with this idea. Um Yeah, that's what I that that's the third story I got there. Okay, so going into uh, Christmas Eve, you got <laughs> Angel de la Nuit. So let's get some clarifiers for her. We got the magician and the moon. So I don't know why those came out, but I saw the magician first, so. Um, you're manifesting something. This is an idea and you've been thinking about it. Okay. And maybe before you, you didn't know how to make this come out. You didn't know how to make this be reality. Okay. But the week before that, we got somebody coming to you, an earth sign willing to help you out and manifest this into reality. Okay. This is about you know, you knowing, you knowing what path to follow, you finally seeing the light through the darkness, you finally seeing a way to make your, um, your manifestation a real possible goal up here. 
And that, you know, and I love it that I got the moon with her because she's all about coming out of the darkness. So you've been illuminated and you know how to make, you know how to manifest your reality now. You know how to make that one idea or that one new passion that you had into something good. Can I get some clarifiers for the Page of Swords? Ooh, that one's flying out. Nine of Pentacles. This is independence right there. This is independence. So whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This is about being financially independent. Being able to help others. You can ask for help. But this is more about you being comfortable and secure in your ground. You know, I kind of feel because we keep getting pentacles with this, I kind of feel that this has to do with the work situation or it's a new business idea. Okay, it's either a work situation or a new business idea. Okay, what... And or can I get another clarifier for the Page of Swords? One more clarifier for the Page of Swords for Pisces. That one flipped. Strength. Strength. You will reach financial independence, and you will get. You will have the strength. You will have the strength to reach the financial independence. Um. It's a new idea. This is a new idea. This is somebody that comes in and shows you the light or or encourages you, gives you strength, helps you nurture your idea so that you can become this independent person. Um, to finally have your coin. Yeah, so I'm seeing two stories here with this. So this may or may not resonate with you. Some of you, it's, you've got this new passion or this new idea. You want to start a new business, okay? So, and you want to move forward with it, but you don't have the resources, but somebody comes in an earth sign to help you with those resources so that you can move forward with it, okay? They come in and they're like, they have a, a plan. They set out a plan for you. It's it's coming in slowly though. So it might take them and take you some time to think about the plan. This could be your energy too. Um, but you relinquish control. You relinquish control with faith that they will help you and that they will make this it. Or it's um, you gaining control and, and having faith in yourself that you can control the situation and you can you can make this plan and manifest this, okay? Um, with maybe an investor, somebody that's going to invest in this idea of yours, okay? You come out of the darkness around Christmas because you know where to go now. You know where to go now because you took the time to make a plan or somebody that was helping you took the time to make the plan. And showed you the way, okay? This is how you manifest your dream, okay? Going into the new year, you're going into the light. You're going into a new idea, a new way of thinking. Um, or you have um, somebody new coming into you that is a younger air sign. And um, this is going to take, this is going to make you strong. They're going to make you strong. They're going to be your cheerleader. And you can you have the potential to bring in this financial, you know, this um, financial, like, success. You have this, you have this, um, this energy going into the new year of strength and wanting to make yourself a financial success. Okay. Second story is this is a work. This is a work-related situation, and you come up with a new concept at work, okay? 
you present new resources and new ways, new resources and new ways for the company or whoever you work for to move forward and to make more money, okay? You've thought about this plan a long time, a long time. Maybe this was just an idea at the beginning um, of the week. And they said, you need, we need more resources to make this opportunity move forward, right? So you thought about it all week and you came in at the end of the week very slowly with a well-vised plan. And you relinquished control over to your boss or you took control. You had the courage and the, the, the faith in yourself to take control of the situation to make this, this, um, this work for your company, okay? You're coming out of the darkness um, around Christmas because you now have a new, a new way, a new plan, a new path to take with this, with this company, with this company, or with another company, who knows? Um, some of you, it might be another company. Others of you, it might be this company. It might be you coming out of the darkness because they didn't take your plan seriously and you found a new, new, a new path to go down, a new job to manifest into your life, okay? Um, if it is that route and you do quit your job and you move on, um, there is information coming in, new information for a possible new job, possible new job that will make you more of a success um, and will give you the strength and courage to like move on into the new year. Now, if this is staying with the other job, it's just saying, you know, you're on the right path. This is the right decision for your company. Um, you guys are going to manifest great things. Um, there's like a new vibe, a new way of thinking when it comes to selling something or I don't know why I said selling something. Maybe some of you are in sales. Um, and then, don't you hate it when you get that scam likely call? Sorry, I'm doing it on my phone. Um, I hate when that happens. Um, and then we've got, oh, maybe that was a message. No, it wasn't. Um, gotta have strength. Gotta have strength going into the new year to be a financial success. Okay, so that could go, those are the possible avenues or routes for this. If it's love, I really, I'm really not seeing love in here because there's no cups and there's only one sword and one wand. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really feeling like this is a work related. Sometimes, um, <laughs> Sometimes readings go like that where they're all geared towards one subject and this is, it's screaming at me work related. So if it resonates you with however it resonates you with, use your intuition um, and go from there. All right. Um, let's do, let's see what messages there are. What messages? Intend and create. This goes along with the magician. Okay. Intend and create. Make it your reality. This is the um, manifester. So intend and then create. Come up with a plan. Intend and create. It's your new idea. Intend and create. See how it works for you. Okay. You have got the, you have got the, this is a good new idea. This is going to make you a very successful person. This is going to give you a lot of strength to stand in your own. Um, could be a new person coming in to help you intend and create. Let's get one more. One more message for Pisces for the end of December. What do you got for me, spirits? There we go. Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. So, maybe <laughs> you need to not embody the emperor so much, okay? 
This is you. The emperor is you. It's you having faith in in your ability to control the situation, um, to follow through with the plan. Um, but if a coworker has um, another idea of how to how to work something out, don't just dismiss their idea. Okay. Um, let arguments come up. You know when you're when you're at the when you're at a like conference or the drawing board or whatever with your company. Um, let that come up, okay? Because if you have arguments and stuff like that, that's how good ideas come out. Because it's like you are all talking and you're all listening and you're all you know, but you're throwing out ideas. There's so many ideas on the table. If you let go of your need to be right about something. It can, it can really, like, you can pick up a good idea off the table. You know what I'm saying? So I think this is for the um, people, this is intended for the people that are at work, okay? The people that, that have a job, this is what your, this is your message. And then the people that are embarking on a new job or starting a new passion, this is your message, okay? Ever that resonates with you guys. Let's get some end quotes here. What are the end quotes? What's the mantra that Pisces needs to repeat in their head? Give me some. You are here for a reason. Yes. So if this is, and I think this is, I really feel like this is going out to the um, Pisces out there that are starting a new business or embarking in a new endeavor, um, their new passion, I have a feeling that that's what you're supposed to be doing. That um, you're here for a reason, that's why you're here. That's why you got that new spark, <clears throat> okay? So the Pisces that um, are starting off on a new one, that is yours. You are here for a reason and that passion is the reason. Or that creative idea, that new business endeavor, that's the reason. Understand your body. Okay, so I have a feeling this is going for um, those of you who are thinking about leaving a job and starting a new one. Um, understand your body. Let Our body does messed up stuff when we're stressed out. So if your body's doing messed up stuff, like you're getting all these headaches all of a sudden, or you're getting these cramps in your back or your legs or whatever, it's because you're stressed out. So you need to know when to let go, let go of the need to be right, okay? Don't stress over some other people's opinions. Um, take note of what's happening to your body. Understand it, okay? Because it's telling you, hey, too much stress. You're worrying about too many things. Let some of them go, okay? So <clears throat> that's what it's telling. That's what it's telling you for those people that are those Pisces that are in transition that are thinking about leaving a job and wanting to go on to something better. Let me get one more. Release toxic relationships, okay? You know what? I think this is for the ones, <laughs> now that I, yes. This is for the ones that are in the relation, or in the, um, in the, um, that stay in the workforce, okay? That don't switch jobs. This is your message. It's, it's saying, you know, understand your body, understand when they're stressed. Um, for some of you that are thinking about, um, Changing careers, it says release toxic relationships, okay? Release it. Release it. If you got this new passion and this new idea and you're in um, a job right now, I'm not saying quit your job because we all have bills to pay. But nurture that idea, okay? And try to get it to where you're here so that that way you can release your toxic relationship. Okay, so next year going into the new year, um, you can release, you can, you can quit that job and start something else, okay? 
It's not saying do it. It's not saying do it around Christmas. I mean, we all have bills to pay, okay? But it's saying that you don't need to be in that that job anymore, okay? You have this new passion. You know what you want to do. So set that up so then that way you can quit that job, okay? Well, Pisces, thank you for watching. If some of this resonated with you, please, please comment. I like to know if I'm helping people. I really do. Um, that's what I. That's why I'm. I'm doing this. Um, also, if it resonated with you and you want a more in-depth reading, because this is just a general reading, um, I have put my um, email in the description below. All you have to do is email me your question, and in the subject line, put what area, um, what area you want me to get more in depth with. Um, whether that be life, love, I mean life, whether that be love, um, family life, uh, kids, job, car, career, wealth, whatever. Um, if you want a more in-depth reading on this, just put career in there or life passion or something like that. You know what I mean? I say that, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Northern. So we say, you know what I mean a lot? <laughs> um, well, at least my, me and my friends do. I guess it's like a learned behavior. But anyway, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And if you liked this video, please hit like. And if it resonated, comment. I really want to know. Um, it also helps me connect with your guys' energies out there. And if you really like my videos, hit subscribe. And share it. Share it, share it, share it so we can get more people. All right? Thank you. I'll see you in January.